Steve from Leisure Travel Vans. Very exciting day. We're in the beautiful provincial park, Sandylands in southern Manitoba. And we're very excited because we've got a brand new baby to the Leisure Travel Van family, the brand new Wonder RL. And I can't wait to show it to you. If you're looking for a small motorhome, this is the one. And what makes it even more special, brand new Ford Transit chassis, totally redesigned with a V6 EcoBoost gas engine, 24 nine long, two separate living areas a beautiful hidden Murphy bed, split dry bathroom, big galley area, great exterior storage, and great interior storage, the Wonder RL. So let's talk about this brand new Ford Transit chassis, the most power I have ever driven in a small motorhome with a brand new 3.5 liter twin turbo gas engine. It has 310 horsepower, produces 400 foot pounds of torque. 10 speed automatic transmission. They've redesigned the entire front end. They've added the chrome edging on the grill, the beautiful Ford logo up front, brand new HID lights, and they've added LED accent lights on the main headlamps, brand new fog lights as well. And they've also added rain sensors onto the windshield wipers and auto high beam assist on the lights as well. Ford has added a whole bunch of new safety features, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. The exterior on the Wonder is absolutely fabulous on the brand new chassis, but if you think that is something, wait till you see the inside. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, well should we? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Come on, let's have a look inside this. This is beautiful. Welcome into the beautiful and the brand new Wonder RL, rear lounge area. The beautiful solarium style windows on the patio side, cross ventilation, lots of beautiful LED lights and a big beautiful bed in the back. You can see I got my reclining chairs, really cool little both sides over here. You're gonna love this rear lounge area. Look at this beautiful TV, sound bar, little storage area underneath here, all of our connections, it's all inverted as well. We're about seven feet, 11 inches wide, under 10 feet and exterior height. This is the beautiful RL. Look, you can see how beautiful, look at that beautiful campground area. This is an unbelievable use of space in a small motorhome. As you can see, we take our table from the uh, front area, I can move it back here. Now I've got a second dining room table area, or there's a computer desk, you can see it'll expand out, use it as a work area. It's actually so smart, so unique, and you can see how much room we have in this back area. Cross ventilation, nighttime shades built right in. Awning style windows open, we also have our emergency escape window, inverted plug, USB plug over here. And of course, over here, we've got our multiplexing system. I can turn lights off and on. Look at that, just simply press the button, turn all the lights off and on. I have a master switch, I can turn all the lights off in the motorhome, see that? I can turn all the lights on in the motorhome as well. So great use of space. Cushion area for a one, two, three people for sure, perhaps four. I can use this as a chaise lounge, which is really, really nice. I like that just to kick back and relax. Once again, I can utilize the table. I can still watch TV and I have the beautiful solarium style window. Hey, let's talk about some of the decor. We have the beautiful new cashmere. So you can have cashmere or natural rift, three different ultra leather colors. This is the mountain. We also have earth and fog. We have two glamour packages. You can do the Fenix white or the gray, and you can just leave it natural now if you wanna stay with the cashmere or the natural rift on the doors. So you don't have to do the glamour package if you don't want to. Lots of LED lights on this floor plan built into the ceiling. And plus, let's talk about the roof height. We are 6'5 interior height, which is kind of crazy because we're under 10 feet total exterior height with the air conditioner, and we have six foot five interior heights. Look at this, great storage area. Look at that. Quick press of the button, off they go. Look at this LED rope lighting in the cabinets over on this side. Look at that, more storage area, more deep storage area back in here as well, storage. And our beautiful LED lights built into the roof line as well. We also have a fantastic fan. This has the optional rain sensors, which is great. So if it starts to rain, it will automatically close. Simple to turn on. Look at that. 
This is a great placement for the fantastic fan as it will keep this area nice and cool at night. And if it does start to rain, the optional rain sensors will automatically close it. Little storage area over on this side. And this is kind of a cool little area. You can maybe uh, put your pillows in here, put them out of the way. Look how beautiful that campground view is. Awning style windows open up. Absolutely fantastic. You have your nighttime shade that comes in play. You can actually leave the window open, get some ventilation. We also have a cover that just snaps in place here and blocks off the lower window as well for lots of privacy at night for when you want to go to bed. And let me show you where you're going to go to bed. So this is very cool. You could use this as a day bed or we can bring it down and I want to show you how simple it becomes Murphy bed. So this is our main base. We hold this button down. There's a safety latch right here. So you want to release the latch. We hold the button all the way down. If you release the button, look, it locks the bed in place. You want to bring the bed all the way down. Look at that. Locks in place. Bring our pillows down and look at this. We have sleeping area for two. As I mentioned, I'm well over six foot one, probably six two. Look at this. Lots of room. Absolutely super comfortable. We have USB plug here. We have a USB plug up there, inverted plug here, inverted plug there, LED lights for reading at night. Absolutely fantastic. What you're going to love about this bed, look at this. I can slide into the bed. Somebody sleeping here? I'm not going to disturb them at night. Look at this. I slide on over and I can access the bathroom as I'm getting older. I have to go to the bathroom at night. I never thought I'd say those words. Very easy access. I can come back into the bedroom area, slide back without disturbing anybody, go back to bed. Nice, comfortable bed, foam mattress, super comfortable and absolutely very, very functional. So living area by day, bedroom at night. And you want to watch TV in bed? Why not? Look at that. Great angle for the TV. Lots of natural light, cross ventilation. I mean, what a perfect floor plan. Okay, we want to bring the bed back up. Pretty simple. Once again, we hold the button all the way up. Look at that. Make sure your sleeping partner is out of the bed. They'll be a little hostile if you leave them on the bed. Lock in there. We actually have a little travel lock that locks in place here locks the bed so that it won't come down at all. We have storage underneath the sofa area here. Look at this. So some great hidden storage underneath the sofa part. Move the cushions back up. So very versatile. Look at this back. You know, you can kick back over on this side, kick back over this way, bring the table, have a work area, office. This could be an office area during the day. And somebody can still be using the front area so you have two separate living areas. We have nice big drawers here. You're gonna also like this, they have soft clothes. Look at that, I like that. Nice hanging closet, I think I could fit in there. I don't know, I think so. Yeah, look at this, hey? Nice big hanging closet. Maybe, maybe not. Hanging closet, beautiful. So here's one of the great features of the Wonder RL. This great door comes across and blocks off to create two separate living areas. Living area in the back, living area in the front. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. And we have a beautiful three-piece dry bathroom. It's a split bathroom. So over here, we have our stand-up shower. We've got a nice big stand-up shower. Once again, I'm for sure 6'2 with the shoes on, so I'm probably 6'3", 6'4 to the top. Beautiful skylight. Look at those beautiful spruce trees. Fantastic. We have a built-in shower head. You have an on-off switch that kind of slows the water flow down. If you want to do a, a quick shower and save some water, we have some accessories channels here where you can put your soaps and shampoos in and of course over here we have our LED light and this is kind of cool we went to a hanging towel bar or you can put anything on here for drip and dry in the shower area so very smart there love the LED light got a nice little handle here for getting in and out of the shower and of course we have the shower door that comes across with this door closed this creates one huge bathroom area now it's all one big bathroom area for changing your clothes getting ready in the morning and then of course over here 
Look at this, nice big dry bathroom. And we've got a macerator toilet, so that will grind up all of your solids and shoot them into your black tank. So it's gonna get a little more usage out of your black tank. It's a porcelain toilet as well, which is very nice. Up here, we have a very beautiful medicine cabinet. And over on this side, we have a beautiful window for some natural light, but don't panic. Look at that, the mirror comes across. And look at this, we've got our leisure travel van clothing on. So you can always go to our website, leisure travel van clothing and gear and stuff like that. I love how the mirror comes across, blocks off. I really love this. This is our brand new concrete Corian countertop, brand new for 2021. We got a stainless steel sink here. Great for uh, getting ready in the morning, shaving and washing your hands. New accessory channel bar here for uh, putting in your toothbrush and your toothpaste. Towel bar holder area here for uh, putting your knickknacks in. And over here, we've got our multiplexing system, one of our secondary control panels for our lights. And you can also turn on the water pump here. So if you forgot to turn on the water pump at the main control panel, you can actually turn the water pump on right there. If you look up above here, we've got our optional rain sensor fan. That's a 12 inch fan. The standard fan is six inch in the, in the uh, bathroom area. So nice to have the optional rain sensor fan because you have more airflow outside of the bathroom. Plus if it decides to rain, it will automatically close. And underneath the sink, we have a little more storage area. Very smart. So you're going to absolutely love this bathroom. Look how much room I have. This is a big private bathroom. Look up here, we've got our 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump. I love the position of the air conditioner because it's gonna keep the bedroom area nice and cool at night on a super hot day. Also, as I mentioned earlier, it's got a heat pump so it'll keep you nice and warm. If you're paying for your campground service, why would you turn on your propane? On a cooler day, you can turn on the heat pump. As we move forward, this is nice, look at this. This is the brand new Dometic fridge. Look at this, it opens two ways so it's a three-way fridge it runs propane it runs electric and it runs 12 volt and you can see i can access it from this side or i can access it from this side how smart is that 6.7 cubic feet and i love the versatility of it is it will open either way a standard microwave with a convection for 2021 wonders we have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter this is inverted off of the battery, so you don't need to start your generator if you want to warm something up inside the microwave or in the convection part of the microwave as well. Great little area here, convection microwave and beautiful three-way, two-door, two-swing fridge. As we move forward, look at this in the galley area, big pull-out pantry. You'd be proud of this. This is my new diet. I'm going no food diet. Look at this. Nice big door over on this side. Garbage cans built into the door. I love that. Easy access to the water pump as well. As we're now in the galley area, look at this beautiful countertops. Corian. Solid surface Corian countertops. The new concrete color. You can also get Antarctica white. Absolutely nice, beautiful galley area. Look at this. Deep stainless steel sink, chrome faucet, our new accessory channel right here, paper towel holder, places here for your uh, spices and things like that, absolutely great. Two burner, propane cooktop, spark ignition, built in splash guard, very smart. Love the uh, beautiful awning style window. Once again, we have our nightshade built right into it. Inverted plug off the new 2000 watt inverter, pure sine wave, and look at this beautiful storage area up top. Over on this side, look at this. Nice place for your glasses, bowls, some water. I'm gonna have that in a second. Everything is right here. Over here we've got nice pot and pan drawer. Another drawer here. Nice place here for your utensils. And once again, soft close. That is absolutely great. And over here, I like this. You can put your uh, sink cover, put it in there, and you have full access to your sink. So nice big galley area, and if that's not good enough, we have a beautiful counter extension right here. Look at this. Counter extension comes down once again, done in Corian. And look at that. Now, a huge countertop. And up over here, we have our digital TV 
antenna, you can turn that on. And we also have our standard WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi booster on the roof. So any free Wi-Fi signal that might be at a campground or if you're at a McDonald's, you can grab that free Wi-Fi signal and boost it. You can also get a 4G service where you can buy that data from WineGuard or you can get a second SIM card from your mobile phone supplier and put that into the component up on the roof and then you would be a walking hotspot. Fully insulated two pound density polystyrene fiberglass flex roof up on the roof. Love this. This is my skylight. Look at this. Beautiful sky. Look, it opens up. Lots of fresh air. Look at those beautiful spruce trees. Prevents the old bugs from coming in. And on a really hot, sunny day, if you wanted to have your skylight open, block off the sun, and you can still get some fresh air in the motorhome. So beautiful built-in skylight on all the Wonder motorhomes. We've got our uh, battery disconnects with switch for our 12 volt power fire extinguisher. Here's our control, one of our multiplexing controls. If you want to dim your lights, you just hold the light and it dims it. You can turn on your step off and on. And then of course your master switch for all your lights, or you can turn them all on right there. So nice little place here to hang your jackets. We have a nice little nighttime shade right there. We have a nice, beautiful night shade and look how it locks in place, blocking off any light coming in from the main door. Up here's our control service center. We've got our optional solar panels. We have 200 watts or 400 watts of solar. There's the controller right there. We're getting good amps in today. Beautiful sunny day. Here's our inverter controller switch for our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And here's our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater settings. So service center right there. So this is also our control center for our Wonder Motorhomes. We use the Firefly multiplexing system. So everything is controlled off. This is our main control center, all touchpad. So I can control everything that I want. If I want to um, have all my lights come on or off, I can do it right here. I can look at individual lights. I can turn individual lights off and on right here, which is very cool. I can also set my generator. We have auto gen start. Nice little option was the four kilowatt gas generator from Onan. I have auto gen start now, so I can set that to come on with uh, low voltage. I can set it to come on by the air conditioner. If I will have pets in the motorhome, I can set it to come on at 71 degrees. It'll cool the motorhome down. So I can also set it for different hours. Some campgrounds don't allow generators to be on past uh, eight o'clock at night. I can set it to turn itself off at eight o'clock. And one of the cool things with the auto gen start is it will look at how much power you're using at 7.30 and if it thinks that you're not gonna have enough power to get you through, it'll come on and recharge up your uh, batteries. So, and I can hit my uh, climate controls. I can turn on my air conditioner. I can turn on the heat pump, the furnace, set everything to auto on the fans as well. Everything is controlled right here. You have a diagnostic network. This is the main control center. If you can see here, there's my tanks. I'm empty and fresh, empty in black and gray, and I've got about 50% of the 13-gallon uh, propane tank full. can also turn on my water pump there. For 2021 model, you're on the Firefly system. You can download an app, and you can run the motorhome off of your smartphone. Over on this side, we've got our entertainment system. We have our Sony Blu-ray player. We have our switcher box. As you can see, we can watch TV here. We got the dinosaur movie on. Normally they make me watch Gravity. Sound bar, this is also a Bluetooth sound bar, so you can grab your phone and stream your music right onto that sound bar as well. So this is where you would put your satellite receiver. So we have a nice little option for a T4 satellite dish that goes on the roof, or you can have a mobile system as well. It's a T4, it does dish, direct, and bell. And this is where you'd put your receiver dish and you would plug it in right into here. So these are all inverted plugs. So this is part of your uh, entertainment system. So now we're in the living room area. Remember, we have two living areas, one in the back, one in the front. You can see this is where our table mounts for our lagoon table leg, which is absolutely fantastic. And you can just lock this in place and we can tie this together here like that it's also you can expand it out you know really becomes a work area you can use it for computer and the other great thing is i mean dinner for four look at this i mean i can sit over here the driver and passenger seats both turn and swivel on the 2020 chassis from ford that's new as well which is quite exciting so i have both chairs being able to turn and swivel becomes part of the living area i love how we've cut out the uh the cab area here so I have easy access into the house area I'm not gonna bump my head look at this lots of room some great storage area up in here as well but and it's accessible from really any seat in the living room area from the driver passenger seat passenger seat driver's seat behind 
behind lots of areas so a great little table i love this and it also goes into the back area as well if you're using this area as a work area you have usb plug here actually two of them and on this side and two 120 electrical plugs as well on both sides and one of the great features of this floor plan is if somebody can still be sleeping in the back in their private bedroom area you can be out front here having breakfast doing work on your computer playing cards sitting back reading just kicking back so two separate living areas in the wonder rl for 2021 so very simple to swivel the seats back and forth so we're going to turn it back into uh, driving position we're in the cockpit area of the brand new Ford chassis that of course we're running the beautiful Wonder RL on and all the wonders for 2021 going forward. Love the new chassis, gas engine, twin turbo, 3.5, V6, 310 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque, new eight inch monitor, Sync 3 Ford navigation system, all voice activated. Of course, it has electric power steering. I don't know if you've ever driven a car with the electric power steering. Absolutely fantastic. Ford has added a whole bunch of new safety features, such as security lock with passive anti-theft system with engine immobilizer. It has an SOS post-crash alert system, tire pressure monitoring system, forward collision warning, side wind stabilization, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, and lane keeping assist. So lots of great safety features for the Wonder Motorhome. Bigger GVWR, 11,000 pounds. The bigger GCWR at 15,000 pounds, which means you can tow about 4,000 pounds. Another great feature that we order from Ford is the 210 amp alternator. And here we have the brand new eight inch monitor with the Ford Sync 3 system, which is absolutely fabulous. Eight inch monitor, you can see it's just all touch screen. You can move it to whatever you want. You have Apple CarPlay. You have Android Auto navigation. Everything's actually voice activated. You can just simply uh, press the voice switch. Find a place. Searching nearby. Please say the name of the POI. Find McDonald's. Please say a line number or say none of those. One. When ready, press the voice button and then say set as destination or dial. Set as destination. Setting new destination. So that's how easy it is. Everything is voice activated, easy to use, automatically programs it to your uh, navigation system. So you can see how easy it is to use either voice activation or you can uh, scroll through the different areas that you want, sending your clock, navigation, mobile apps, uh, 911 assist, all your vehicle display information, your camera settings all set right there. And you can easily connect to your uh, phone, Bluetooth connection to your phone right there. You can add a device, view to the devices that are there. Get audio. You also have a uh, Sirius radio as well, which is a pay for uh, service. I really like it. You can also uh, split screen everything. You can have full navigation on it, or you can uh, split the screen so that you've got your phone live, you've got your radio station and your navigation all on one screen setting. When we uh, put the motor home in reverse, as you can see, the uh, backup camera comes on and I have a nice big viewing area to see what's behind me that I'm not going to hit one of those trees behind me when I'm backing into the uh, campground area. All the controls are built right into the steering wheel. As you can see, the little motorhome display comes on. You can scroll down to your display area. You can move it from miles per gallon to kilometers, your temperature, tire pressure driver assistance so you can have your lane keeping assist on your pre-collision assist on driver alert on in case uh, you're getting a little tired all your vehicle settings are right here for your chimes your lights your locks remote start wipers lots of different control areas over here you've got uh, your uh, mode controls for your when you're driving down the road you can set your eco uh, slippery road or, or if you're tow haul you can turn the motor on for stop if you want the motor to turn off when you come to a light or you can have it on where the motor stays on all the time as well here's a great example of the auto start stop technology i've stopped the vehicle i'm just stopping waiting motor turned off when i hit the accelerator engine will turn back on that's great for fuel economy over here we got our controller for our 10 speed transmission i can i can move the uh, gears up or down shows our miles per gallon how many miles we have left of fuel how many miles we've driven and how many hours the, the motor's been running so we also on the chassis you have an optional all-wheel drive from ford the uh, chassis height doesn't change at all it stays exactly the same we've also got some great usb 
plug-ins here, 12 volt plugs here, 12 volt here, USB plugs there. Nice little cubby hole for storage area. Storage, 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 storage. Lots of great areas. Power steering, power brakes. It has the tilt telescopic steering, cruise control built right in here. All your controls are built right into the steering wheel. So you really never have to take your eyes off the road. We have power windows. We have the heated power mirrors the fog light controls right here and of course we have the new high intensity discharge headlamps up front with the leds built in as well it is absolutely fun to drive and i can honestly tell you i've never driven a small motor home with as much power as this ford v6 ecoboost motor can deliver it's unbelievable 400 foot pounds of torque so here we get on the highway you can see uh we start to roll you know you punch this thing out she rolls she gets up to uh 50 60 miles an hour really really fast each floor plan on a wonder can tow different weight very easy to drive handles real good now that is one spectacular interior the wonder rl two separate living areas small chassis great storage we order all of our transit chassis with the 16 inch aluminum rims with the dualies on the back as well this is a nice little feature if you're in a little tight area here you can fold in the uh, heated power mirrors you can see how easy they fold in and out we integrate the fiberglass of the step and the body into the chassis very aerodynamic small motorhomes usually have very little storage but you're going to be very impressed with the new rl for storage i love this built-in struts so the door is not going to hit you on the back of the head see how the doors fiberglass we have a brand new handle here on all of our 21s see how simple that locks in see how it pulls the lock-in, that way you're not gonna get any water into your compartments. And of course, the built-in strut. Underneath, we spray foam all the compartments for extra quietness and for a little bit of protection. Galvanized sheet metal, super strong, never rust. Great product to have, and we carpet and line all the compartments as well. All the new handles have a brand new key that locks the compartment. So no more 751 key, look at that. Locked and locked. Standard on all the wonders is a beautiful, carefree of Colorado awning, power awning, you can see this. Got the built-in LED lights, comes on out. So you have a beautiful awning area. You can see we have our optional uh, table as well over there. So this is a beautiful little camp area. Always make sure you have your door closed. Yeah, now that's one nice big awning. Plus you're gonna like this feature, built-in legs. I really like this. We have a great little camp area here. So I can bring the legs down. And I have a couple options here. I can uh, tent peg the legs down here, both sides here. As you can see, very simple to do. Doesn't take long to put your awning out. Now we're having an absolutely beautiful day, but we're getting a little bit of wind gusts. You'll probably hear that on the mic a little bit. So a nice little feature to have here is I can actually lock the legs into the motorhome here. Look at that, see that, locks in place. Now if we get a little bit of a breeze, I don't have to worry about my uh, awning blowing away. Now if it's a super windy day, you, know, you don't wanna put your awning out because you never wanna damage your motorhome. There we go, we got the struts built into the legs, legs locked into the motorhome, and look at this beautiful big camping area. You're gonna absolutely love this little optional outside picnic table, look at this just locks into the anchors and there we go nice beautiful picnic table so this is a great example of dry camping i have my own table i have my own awning and look at this we are dry camping nice little option we have uh, the keyless uh, lock system so you can lock the motorhome lock the chassis we also have a uh, anti-theft uh, on the ford chassis with the uh, engine immobilizer that's a new uh, safety feature they put on their chassis and I love the new screen door. Look at this, locks in place. Very nice. You can see the uh, aluminum supports. That way, if you have pets, they're not gonna go through the screen door. Gives the uh, screen door some extra strength. And I really like this. You no longer have to open this up to open the screen door. It's got a handle on both sides for locking. You're also gonna like, we have a power step, automatically comes out. You can put it on camping mode. You can lock the step in place. So when I'm dry camping like I am now, or any type of camping, the step stays down all the time. That way I don't wear out the motor. A nice little handle here with an LED light. LED light here, LED lights in the awning, so lots of light at, at night as well. And we always talk about storage being important. Look at this, more storage here. 
and you're absolutely going to love this new standard for 2021 model year. We've got a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter standard and two deep cycle AGM batteries standard on the wonders. Got our refrigerator vents, intake, exhaust. You never want to block the intake. Also, let's talk about this beautiful wall material. This is a vacuum bonded wall, roof and floor, aluminum studs throughout, vacuum pressed between seven and 21 pounds. That's how we create the beautiful curve, Vetrolite exterior finish. And let's talk about this exterior finish. Full body paint, three coats of color, two coats of clear. And we have seven different exterior colors. We added the glacier exterior color. We have white suede, silver, graphite, denim, champagne, and of course, everybody's favorite, Eurosport. 110 electrical outlet plug right there. Work our way down, we have our anchors for our optional table. Here's the beautiful 16 inch Ford aluminum rims. Those are dualies on the back, right? So two tires on this side, two tires on the other side. That's something you wanna be looking for when you're looking at an RV because the dualies on the back give you more stability. The Ford Transit chassis that we order on the Wonder, 178 inch wheelbase, very important. So really nice handling motorhome, nice ride when going down the highway. This is actually a cool little feature that we do on all of our leisure travel vans. You're gonna see we spray foam underneath the wheel wells. That way rocks and debris when you're going down the road don't make a lot of noise inside the motor room. It also protects all the wheel wells from the inside and the outside. We also spray foam all of our undermount tanks as well, which gives you a little bit of insulational value, but mostly protects the tanks from damage. So it's all the little things that we do at leisure travel vans that makes a leisure travel van. We've got our beautiful solarium style glass on the RL, top and bottom. All frameless glass, sexy frameless glass. I mean, that's spectacular. Awning style windows, what that means is I can bring this window and I can open it this way, can have cross ventilation. It can be pouring rain outside. I never have to worry about water getting inside the motorhomes. And let's have a look at this. This is a new option for 2021 on the Wonders. So we're gone from 3.6 propane generator to a four kilowatt gas generator which allows the fuel supply to come out of your fuel tank on the Ford chassis. So one of the great advantages is you're going to have more running time off of your fuel tank on the owning generator. Plus you're going to have more running time of all of your propane appliances, the refrigerator, the stove, the furnace, Kruma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater off of your 13 gallon propane tank. So great new option, owning four kilowatt gas generator and our beautiful propane quick connect so you can have a little portable barbecue plug it in there run it off your 13 gallon propane tank you don't have to carry an extra propane tank look at this beautiful molded fiberglass rear mass molded fiberglass front mass which we'll see in a second you can see how beautifully the contour is the design this is all gel coat once again full body paint built-in backup camera Beautiful, works off of the new eight inch monitor. And Ford has increased the GCWR to 15,000 pounds on the Ford Transit chassis. So you can tow up to 4,000 pounds on the RL model. Also, if you are gonna tow something, right here we've got our seven pin connector that you can plug right into. So you wanna tow a small little fishing boat or a small vehicle. Beautiful LED lights look absolutely spectacular and I love the molded fiberglass feel. You can see the design on it. Looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, as we work our way down the driver's side, here's a nice beautiful storage area above the floor, all carpeted in line, looks absolutely beautiful. There's a built-in LED light in here as well, so at nighttime you can get your stuff out of this compartment. And the optional table just slides right in here, very nice, and you can see that it just straps in place so it doesn't bounce around, make a bunch of noise when you're driving. Underneath our storage area, we have our beautiful service center, outside service center. I love this little service center because everything is right here. It's not randomly all over the place. So here's our three inch dump connection here. We have our black pull here and our gray valve pull here. Always pull your black water tank valve first and then the gray that washes the line out. We also have an optional macerator pump. It's already connected. You can actually pump uphill if you want and if you don't want to hook up the blue hose every time, it's already hooked up. Nice little option to have. I also like this little feature with our built-in sewer compartment hose. So if I don't order the macerator pump or if I do order the optional macerator pump, 
you still always get the three inch hose for dumping in case there was ever a problem with the macerator or if you didn't have the macerator, plug that in. That's how you dump your tanks. We've got our cable connection. We have our cable TV connection here and our satellite connection. So kind of interesting. We have a pre-wire for a satellite dish on the outside if you carry a portable dish or we have an optional T4 wine guard that does dish direct and bell systems on the roof. It's a great little option to have if you like to watch TV. On this side here, we've got our water pump on and off here. This is kind of a nice little feature to have. We're dry camping right now. If I wanted to use my exterior shower, I could just turn on the water pump right here. Black water flush as we work our way down. Our fresh water fill comes up through here. This is a nice little feature to have. That way I can actually run my garden hose or my fresh water drinking hose through there. Keep this closed. We have a nice and brand new outside shower. It just kind of clips into here. A little quick connect there. And then I have hot and cold running water. This is a nice little feature to have. We have our RV antifreeze pickup and our water, fresh water pickup. So if you're doing some dry camping and you ran out of water and you had a jug of water, I can actually put this hose in the water, turn on my water pump and suck that water into my fresh water tank. So nice little feature to have there. And for some of our campers that are uh, in the Northern areas and they need a winterizer unit, this would suck up the RV antifreeze. So nice and simple to do if you wanna do your own winterizing of your motorhome and you can see speaking of winterizing here's our valve right here for our winterizing valve you can see our emergency exit window on install window here emergency exit window over here we have our shore power connection right here 30 amp service we also have standard on the 2021 wonders is a surge protector which is standard on all the wonder motorhomes it'll prevent any bad power from going into the motorhome underneath here we've got our propane fill so 13.2 gallon propane tank this is where you get filled up it's always done by a professional propane filling company that will fill that up for you always make sure the propane is off when you're filling the propane or if you're going on ferries or underneath certain bridges you want to make sure your propane is off as well we have our 16,000 BTU furnace and of course we have standard the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater this is one great hot water heater runs on propane it has a little reserve tank here of one liter that keeps that water nice and warm so when you turn on one of your valves in the kitchen or the bathroom or the shower head you have instant hot water. As it is using that one liter of hot water, the heat exchangers are getting hot to give you continuous, unlimited hot water. Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus Hot Water Heater, standard on all Wonder Motorhomes. And this is nice. Look at the size of this compartment. Nice, big, beautiful compartment. Once again, galvanized sheet metal, super strong, won't rust, going to last forever. Got lots of strength. It's all lined. Absolutely beautiful built-in strut, two struts, right? Not going to fall and hit me in the back of the head. Nothing worse than that. And this is an EPDM rubber hinge seal. This is how we move the doors up and down. It's not going to rust and then have rust lines coming down after it rains Ugh, who wants that look at that epdm rubber hinge seal that is a storage compartment see this is kind of nice you can see our courtesy light for getting in and out of the motorhome and i like this little feature for your fill once again we've gone to a gas engine when you want to fill it you don't have to worry about any fumes going to the motorhome when you close it and lock it nobody can tamper with your gasoline we have our beautiful step for getting in and out of the motorhome once again we talked about how the mirrors slide into place but this is all fiberglass up top this is an all molded fiberglass you can see how it's very aerodynamic how it ties into the chassis you're going to be nice and aerodynamic going down the road it's going to handle like a dream hey thank you very much for watching the brand new 2021 wonder rl this is a beautiful motorhome small it's compact two separate living areas private bathroom separate shower separate bathroom area no wet bath nice big bed area lots of storage interior and outside when i can say one thing of all the years that we've been building leisure travel vans and triple e products back all the way to 1965 till today i believe that this is the year that you should be buying a leisure travel van you have your own personal space you're not in an airplane you're not in a hotel room and you can go anywhere you want in north america in a leisure travel van hey dean from leisure travel vans once again thank you very much for watching be safe be healthy make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel we really appreciate that and make sure you go and check out the brand new wonder rl at your closest leisure travel van dealer hey once again dean from leisure travel vans
you can configure your leisure travel van today. We have build in price. You can compare floor plans. You can pick colors of exterior, interior wood colors, leather colors. Plus you can pick all of the options and you can price it out and know exactly what you're getting in your leisure travel van.